you know, they had a lot of threats. They had a lot of good receivers and a lot of good backs. You know, uh, they got uh, Evans out wide, Molina in the backfield, and they just have a lot of different ways to use those different kind of guys. Uh, how I mentioned yesterday that the secondary can take their eyes off their receiver. But how do you focus on that when you know there's a threat that the quarterback can be breaking down for a big run? I mean, it's just it's not your problem to deal with. Your, your problem is have them look at your man and do the, do the certain things that coaches are telling you to do. It's, it's all eye discipline, like Coach Evans says. You know, you got to look at your receiver and make sure that you cover him because if you don't do that, then that's where the problem starts. If uh, if you do that, then everybody else has to do what they need to do by, by containing Johnny Menzel. How much more exhausting is that when you're back there for seven or eight seconds as opposed to three, four? You know, it, it can be exhausting, but, you know, Coach Evans done a really good job of getting us in shape this week. We've done a lot of stuff. Uh, we've gone high tempo. We've done uh, everything that we need to do for this game. And, you know, we're just really excited. With this much high tempo and the heat, so it kind of felt like camp almost the, with the amount of running and stuff you guys are doing? Mm, not, not so much because, you know, it's, it's different when you're compar- uh, preparing for a different team. You got a lot more tempo, a lot more excitement for the game week. You got a lot more excitement for practice. So, you know, you go out there with a different mindset. You know, just, just really excited for this opportunity we got in front of us. Are you guys doing anything to prepare for the noise? You know, we haven't, we haven't done anything yet for that, but I'm sure we'll do something tomorrow. Could you run through your memory, please, of the second touchdown play, the, the fumble play? Uh, I, did, I don't know if you were on the field a bit, what your assignment was, and just your thoughts of it, it appeared that your defense, at least the, the, front, the, the front, did what it did, what, what it should do to, to contain him, and then things just broke down after he fumbled. Yeah, you know, he, he's a great, great player, and he knows how extended play, and uh, he did a great job of that. He fumbled the ball. And a lot of guys at the back end did what they shouldn't have done. They came out of their zones. They didn't cover their men. And uh, it, it opened up the uh, middle of the field for him to throw the touchdown pass. And we, we just weren't used to a, a player like Johnny Manziel at that time. But, you know, we, we know what he's a, uh, capable of doing now. Were you on the field at the time, Mike? Yes, sir. Okay. So what, what, what was your assignment? What, what was uh, you? we were, we were, I was the middle middle hook guy in the middle of the field. Okay. And did you did you – did you get out of your lane as well? Yes, sir. Was that a case where you where you paid attention to your ears and not your eyes, or what? No, I definitely paid attention to my eyes and not my brain. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you got you got to be disciplined, like Coach Damon says, and do what you need to do on each every single play. Then you might uh, mention any freshmen that have caught your eye this year, um, Alabama freshmen. Uh, you know, a lot of guys are doing a lot of good things. Robert Foster has been out there a lot at wide receiver going up against us. He's, he's a quick guy. He's fast. He's strong. He's a big, big guy that's able to go up and get the football. Um, Mari Smith has t- taken a lot of star reps and done really good at that. And, uh, you know, I feel, I feel like every freshman's kind of molded into what we'd like to do. And I feel like Coach David and all the coaches have done a really good job of getting them to get ready to play, that if any one of us go down, that they're able to step up and do what they need to do. What's going to be like to have Geno back plus – Knowledge that Jarek could hold his own, I guess, the, the star position that he'll have to be. You know, it's great to have Geno back. It's, it's thought not having him there last week. You know, we, we love him. We, we miss him. But uh, Jarek's done a great job. He's He knows what to do. He's done a great job of looking at what he needs to do and doing exactly what Coach Shaman's asking him to do. And, you know, we, he's fit into the scheme perfectly so far. What about their receivers? They have, like, nine guys, I think, who club balls the night. That's quite a few guys to keep an eye on. Yeah, they got they got great receivers and they got a great uh, great uh, game plan for every game. So you know what we got to do we got to go out there and do exactly what Coach Davis said: be be disciplined with our eyes and not try and be superheroes out there. Just do exactly what we need to do every play. Was there any skepticism before last season as to whether that sort of offense could work against a typical SEC defense? You know, we really really didn't pay attention to certain offenses and certain schemes until it was game week. And we didn't really have that kind of mindset going into the season. We just knew what we needed to do for each game, take it one game at a time. And we didn't really think about Texas A&M until we got to that game. But but so so basically, I think with Missouri and A&M coming in, there was the concept: well, these these guys are going to basically see a, a different kind of defense style. They can't run that sort of offense in this league. Was that something that was more of a fan thing, or was it a player thing? Do you think? I'm sure it was a, like a fan thing because it definitely wasn't a player thing. You said that. Shaman does a good job of making sure that they pay attention to what he wants them to pay attention to. You know, he uh, he, he makes sure that you know exactly what's on every single play, and if you know what's doing every single play, then you know who you have. Whenever the play breaks down, and he, he starts to scramble around, 
and uh, it, it takes it takes reps and it takes a lot of mental reps also. So you know when we're out there and they're watching us, they understand the concepts of what to do. Does, does a fan reaction play into that when you hear a big explosion? Do you think there's a big play in your, your natural tendency is to look for, for the ball? Honestly, when you're on that field, all you can hear is yourself thinking. I can't even hear the fans whenever I'm playing. Is it normal for you guys to focus as much attention on you know, one player's abilities as you have this week seemingly? Um, you know, it's not just one player, though. When he breaks down, there's four other players that are running around in the back end. And that's what that's what we've been focusing on is making sure that we stay on our guy. The front's, front's job is to rush and be in their pass lanes. The linebackers are to fit their holes, and we're supposed to cover. And, you know,